the Royal Navy is to spend £50 million on a Royal Marines mothership that will see troops constantly ready for action. One of the three Bay-class logistics support vessels will be converted to act as an agile and lethal strike ship. An additional £40 million will be spent on developing the future commando force to make it ready to strike from the sea. Together, the plans will see more Royal Marines deploying around the world for long periods to respond rapidly, operate alongside our allies and partners to counter state threats. The Bay-class ship, which is capable of carrying up to 24 Challenger 2 tanks or 150 light trucks in 1,150 linear meters of space, with stern and side ramp access to the vehicle deck. The cargo capacity is equivalent of 200 tons of ammunition, or 24 20-foot equivalent unit containers. During normal conditions, a Bay-class ship can carry 400 soldiers, but this can be almost doubled to 700 in overload conditions. The flight deck is capable of handling helicopters up to the size of Chinooks, as well as Merlin helicopters and Osprey Tiltrotor aircraft. There is no hangar for long-term embarkation of a helicopter, although a temporary shelter can be fitted to house a Merlin or smaller helicopter. The well dock can carry one LCU Mark 10 or two LCVPs, and two mechs floaties can be suspended from the ship's flanks. Two 30-ton cranes are fitted between the superstructure and the flight deck. Internal passages are wide enough to allow two fully kitted marines to pass each other, and will be fitted out with secure communications and converted to operate airborne, surface and underwater drones. The Bay-class ship with armament 30mm DS-30B cannon, the DS-30B rapid-fire cannon is a 30mm Erlikon stabilized, ship protection system, the DS-30B system consists of a marinized, stabilized gun mount which accommodates the 30mm cannon, and controlled by a single operator. Phalanx Close-In Weapon System is a close-in weapon system for defense against incoming threats such as small boats, surface torpedoes, anti-ship missiles and helicopters. 7.62mm MK44 minigun, and 7.62mm L7 general purpose machine gun. Under the Royal Navy transformation plans the vessel, crewed by the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, the civilian adjunct to the Royal Navy, will act as a command and control mothership for Royal Marines operations. Airborne drones, such as the Andural Ghost helicopter, will be used to spy on the enemy. In trials with 40 Commando, troops said it was built for soldiering. It's always searching, it's constantly looking. This isn't just a drone with a camera, it's artificial intelligence. The in-service Pacific 24 rigid inflatable boat will be converted to a drone and carry cameras, acoustic senses and weapons, if current trials with the Royal Navy are successful. The new strike ship may also operate the extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicle, a 9-ton mini-submarine capable of surveillance missions. The extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicle can dive to over 300 meters, carry weapons and intelligence sensors. The Defense White Paper, the Ministry of Defense's contribution to the government's integrated review of foreign, defense, security and development policy, saw military chiefs sacrificing old equipment to invest in newer capabilities. However, the decision to keep both 20,000-ton amphibious assault ships HMS Albion and Bulwark, due to retire later this decade and augment them with a new global strike ship has been seen as a mandate to change by naval chiefs. The three Bay-class amphibious ships can offload embarked troops and armored vehicles using two landing craft from an internal dock capable of being flooded. Helicopters, including the heavy lift Chinooks, can land on the deck craft. With an 8,000 nautical mile range, the ships are highly versatile and can operate in extremely rough weather all around the world. Other nations are developing similar concepts. Up to 200 US Special Forces are thought to operate from the MV Ocean Trader and Iran uses the Savas, a converted merchant ship that has a permanent station in the Red Sea. Brigadier Dan Cheeseman, the Royal Navy's chief technology officer, said artificial intelligence and autonomous surveillance systems are battle-winning technologies for our future commando force.